he and his wife were in a, were in a rental home, and apparently the blinds, you know, that were uh, on the wall there fell on his wife. Is there some liability to the landlord in that situation? Chase? Yes, there, there could be some liability to the landlord. If the landlord had some sort of knowledge uh, that there was something defective about that, those blinds, then um, he can be held responsible for not either warning you or making them safe. Um, uh, so yes, you could hold the landlord uh, responsible in certain circumstances, but you'd need to investigate um, certain things about what the landlord knew about the condition of those blinds. It would also have something to do with how the blinds fell. If she's, you know, standing on a ladder pulling on them and they fall down and hurt her, that's one thing. If she's just sitting there on the couch and, you know, they're barely hanging on the wall and then they fall, then the landlord knew that, you know, the, the blinds were in disrepair, then you're going to have, you're going to have a, a good claim against the landlord in that situation. And that, as I always um, try to tell the lawyers, um, in the event that something is brought to your attention about someone being injured, it's very important that you um, think about it. And if it smells, in other words, if common sense tells you this shouldn't have occurred because of someone else's fault or negligence, uh, as a general rule, there's going to be a, there will be a claim that will authorize your recovery. And again, it gets back to making premises safe driving and following the rules of the roadway, not putting products on the, on the market that are going to kill people. It's just common sense kinds of things. But we have to go through the legal morass uh, uh, to prove that someone else is responsible and they should pay for this consequence.